hey beautiful capricorn welcome back to the channel guys thank you for being here everyone and uh, i just wanted to reiterate how you know happy i am and grateful i am for all your generosity to me thank you so much they're not messages that everybody wants to hear every day but i can certainly tell you they're the messages that need to be said so that being said let's talk about capricorn energy capricorn you have a guardian angel around you watching over you spirit fox trust your talents during challenging times track down your fears and your desires trust the unknown father sky is here dream and journey the drum follow the voice of your soul there is a star ancestor here telling you to track down your fears and your desires trust in the unknown and trust your talents your talents are truly coming forth make your plans and focus this is a total masculine energy here Capricorn Father Sky is here. Trust the unknown. You're being watched over. This is a higher view, a higher perspective. Again, Fox energy twice. Keep your ears open. The royal you. Great and full. Track down your fears and your desires. Whoa. Waking the lion. Trust your talents during challenging times. The genius within. You've got something that needs to come out. It is your talents you're being told. To utilize your talents during your challenging times. This is the awakening genius here. You have a masculine ancestor who is definitely telling you to use and utilize your talents at this time. The royal you, great and full. bring some feminine energy here the essence of all Buddhas I have the power to make each moment sacred everything is material for my liberation of all Buddhas Seeing the royal you, great and full, I have the power to make each moment sacred. Everything is material for my liberation. You have everything. You've got Father Sky behind you. You have everything it takes to feel great and full everything Hesta the goddess of sanctuary no matter where I am I am home the most sacred sanctuary is found within me Marguerite Poret the mystic of divine love love is divine and I am nothing except love 
Lady of the Lotus Born. Embodiment is the deepest bliss. My body, my body was made for enlightenment. The prophetess of the sacred way, my heart is a compass. A path of love is true abundance. Great and full. There's nothing stopping you. So the only thing that seems to be here is utilizing your talents, tracking down your fears. What is preventing you from receiving all of this goodness? It's genius. It is your genius. Listen deeply. What's going on? Whoa. I have not had powerful energy like this in a long time, Capricorn. There is nothing stopping you. Absolutely nothing. You might be having challenging times, but that's when the genius awakens. That is the creativity that is coming up with a divine plan using the skills and the talents that you already have present with you. Focus, Spirit is saying. Create space so you can focus. This is the soul tree. This is the embodiment of all Buddhas. Visualize. It's really important to create a space for you to visualize, to ground. Visualize yourself. Visualize your talents. Visualize the royal you. Visualize it and bring it into fruition. There's nothing stopping you, Capricorn. Nothing. But your own fears. It's telling you to track down your fears. There is some major awakening happening here. like a creative project wants to be birthed here the lovers make choices from your heart deeply emotional commitments the power of love great and full there's something better waiting for you do what you know is right create a space Visualize what it is you want. Follow your passion. You're ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure. A trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny person. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over, I'm telling you, you got a guardian angel watching over. You've got Father Sky watching over you. You have a star ancestor watching over you. What's keeping you from this other than your own fears? Take a leap of faith. Believe in yourself and listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy? A romantic, poetic introspection. A committed romantic relationship. Being swept off your feet. Situations or topic that make your heart flutter. The Spirit is clearly saying there is a love situation here. But somebody has got to track down their fears. What is preventing you from getting this what you want? There is a masculine energy speaking to another masculine. You know what you want. Go get it.
Yep. What is preventing you from getting what you want? Love and blessings filling your life. Harmonious relationships with family. The happy ever after. And love here. But what is the problem here? What is the issue here? Is this the fear? Is this the challenge? Fear? Fearing the happy ever after? Or discord amongst family? Woo. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours or living too too hard to f to phase others utilize your talents through challenging times so that could be the challenge working too many hours might be be uh, causing family issues or something like that. This is love. Jeez, man. It will all be better if you make a decision to overanalyzing a problem. Find a compromise. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. But it could be that somebody is overwhelmed working too hard at something, needing to create a space for meditation, needing to like... Awaken the genius. This could be a creative project that you need to challenge or bring into a reality here. What's going on? Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant for change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. That could be the problem, the challenge. And Spirit is telling you to awaken the genius within you. There's something that needs to be awakened within uh, someone. It is about their creativity. Coming up with a genius plan, but maybe you're too busy working to meditate, to hear what the universe is trying to ask for help. Ask your spirit guides to help you awaken this genius within you. Hmm. Let love be the answer. Loving what you're doing. Maybe you need a, a job. It's just like making money doing what you love to do, what you know best to do. It's utilizing your talents and your skills, but maybe your um, or your partner is overwhelmed with work not having the time to even think straight. Hmm. Balance. So someone feels that things are out of balance. There's good news coming in about money.
you are going to hear some good news about a legal settlement or a legal decision. You're going to hear good news about money. You could be traveling. Someone's feeling like their situation is out of balance. You need to create a space to meditate, to think. This idea, you're inspired to create something. But there's a lot of conflicts here. What is about the let love lead you? So somebody, oh my God, King and Queen of Cups. Things that make your heart flutter. Let love be your guide. Follow your heart. Someone's torn. They know who they love. But they're overanalyzing a situation. Stop overanalyzing. Create a space where you can hear what your guides are trying to tell you. Somebody can, they know what their heart wants, but they're overanalyzing a situation. There's a reason to be at peace and harmony. Hmm. Someone's trying to make a decision, but they're over analyzing a choice or a decision. They know what their heart wants. Follow your heart is clearly being told. Somebody may want, yeah, will track down your fears and your desires. What is it you're desiring? Follow your heart. This person is overanalyzing a situation. They know who they want. They know what they want. Maybe their fear is that you will not accept an apology and they are resisting some kind of change. It could be to do with their work. Maybe somebody has been laid off of a job. Maybe somebody's sick. They're working too hard. They're overanalyzing something. Maybe they have wounds that they need to heal. Or maybe this is they got injured at their job or something and their finances are low. Mm, follow your heart. Yeah, there's some heartbreak here. Somebody might be overanalyzing, working too many hard, working too many hours. Maybe they're getting sick. Maybe they got injured. Are we talking about if somebody has been injured on the job or something like that and is worrying, overanalyzing, like, how am I going to pay the bills? How am I going to have a balanced relationship when I don't feel balanced myself? They're being told to awaken the genius within them. Using their creative talents is going to get them out of a jam. So they know who they want but they got to track down their fears and their desires. I mean, the, the love is there. There's no question about it. Why do they wait when they know what they want? Passionate new idea. Awaking the genius. Something is going to be a huge success here. Is it that they know what they want? Okay, they know who they want. But they're they gotta track down their fears. They're over analyzing something, and all they gotta do is utilize their creativity they got this idea that they want to manifest 
They are longing. But why do they procrastinate? Or is there some delay? They keep putting something off. They keep delaying something. Is this holding on to some kind of argument or feeling restricted somehow? Wake in the genius. This is a creative idea that somebody's going to be very successful at. Wanting to charge in. Maybe they're angry about a job, angry about a situation, angry. Is this angry people at work? Frustrated, feeling frustrated, feeling angry, resentful, learning something about the job. I don't know. It's like they know what they want. They know who they want. They've made a decision. got to walk away. Hmm. Are they just ignoring something? Thinking somebody will reject them? This is their Ten of Cups. Maybe the, somebody's family is interfering. Maybe somebody's family doesn't want them. Maybe there's family issues here. Worrying and over analyzing what family would think instead of what they think. That's the problem. They're trapped in fear. What will my family think? What will my family think when they're clearly being guided to follow their heart? This is instincts. This is trust your instincts. What is this? Somebody is like thinking that this is Fox energy three times. Is this strategy? Strategy? Thinking of a strategy? They know who they want. Wheel of Fortune, Temperance, High Priestess. Hmm. Deep intuition here. I gotta track down their fears. It's like they may have been acting very strategically or something. How King of Pentacles Does this person have a fear of getting hurt? Fear of failure? Fear of it ending? Well, they're heavily burdened. It could be to do with family situation. You know, this person is trying to look good to their family, look good to their lover or whatever it is. But they're heavily burdened. They're not listening to their heart. Why are they so afraid to go love who they want to love? 
when they're seeing this other situation here as a heavy burden. Working too many hours, trying to people please everybody. What the hell is this? Yeah. Maybe they have a wife and they're heavily burdened. It's like I, they've got a lot of responsibilities and commitments. What's happening here? Paying for things. This is... Yeah, they're, they're a workaholic is what they are. Trying to people please. Trying to please a lover. Trying to please a wife trying to please a situation to keep them materialistically supported. But there's something unhealthy about it. <laughs> they have to deny their own emotions. They have to deny their own feelings for who they truly love. They're denying. They're in self-denial. They know who they want to make their offer to, but what is preventing them is they could be in a marriage or with another lover. They're heavily burdened. It's like they can, they're they trying to people-please everybody and listening to what their family says who they should be with, trying to listen to like everybody else telling them what they who they should love who, instead of following their heart. They're depressed and they're lonely, even in that situation. They need to create a space. What is this? They know who they love. There's the Empress. They already know who they want to make an offer to. But the family keeps getting in the way or responsibilities. And they're feeling insecure about something. But they know who makes them happy. And it's like who makes them feel har harmony and joy and peace. They know who they want to come toward and message. The person that they love. But it's like they got to end the situation in order to bring this into fruition. They gotta break up with somebody and they gotta heal. And then they're gonna take a leap of faith to get what they want. Whoa! So somebody's family is the problem. Who cares what family thinks? What are you gonna deprave yourself of? What is the fear here? This masculine is being asked to track down their fears. What are you so afraid of? Who cares what family thinks? Who cares what the obligations and responsibilities are? So this is a person staying in it because of what other people think that they should do. Instead of following their heart, they know what makes them feel fulfilled. They know what they got to do here. They know. But they have got to be the ones to track down their own fears. Fear of what family would think. Fear of what this other energy they're with thinks. This is another lover. They know who they want, but they're afraid of what family is going to family judgment oh well spirit is saying wake up expose and reveal this could be a perfect relationship they should meditate and quiet their mind and open their heart and write the next chapter of their book it's their journey not families, not obligations, not working, overworking to keep other people happy. What do what makes you happy? It has a powerful purpose. They know it could be very sweet, but they are sitting here in an illusion. 
believing like this person loves you body and soul and they want to go and do this they want you're going to cross paths with this person and they're going to take a deep breath oh my god this is great big love yes it is they're fooling themselves it's an illusion they do not have to be somewhere they don't want to be. Fear of what family will judge them or what family will say about them. If they go and get the love of their life, that's this person needs to track down their fears. Meditate. Get away from that. Create a space. Take time for themselves to soul search. I know who I love. You take this person's breath away but they fear I'm in a family situation or my family will judge me I got to be there for this one and that one and the other one I got to do right this is somebody honorable trying to do the honorable thing and they're denying themselves their own true love because of judgment of family for real looking like spirits talking to this person there is an ancestor around this person who is definitely telling them to create a space get away from these people and think for yourself follow your heart their heart is with you I don't know if this is your past person or whether this is currently someone who is interested in you. You know what? We only live on this planet for a certain amount of years. Why are you wasting your time dealing with situations and ju fear of judgment of what other people say when you know what's in your heart? It would appear that this person is doing some soul searching. They need to track down their fears and their desires. What do they want? What's best for them? Not what's best for everyone else. I mean, you cannot please all the people all the time. You can only please some of the people some of the time. Follow your heart. This person is being told to follow their heart. Do what you want. What makes you fulfilled? What brings you joy? What brings you harmony? It's like they want... There's two people left meeting up here. You're going to cross paths with this person. You're on your horse and they're on their horse and you're on a direct encounter. like this is meant to be you're going to run into this person you will cross paths with this person and it's going to be the epiphany the um oh my god this is what I've been looking for my whole life situation that cause calls for honest and open communication you are having a a conversation with this person this is a talk they are crossing paths with you in order to talk to you Oh, 
And I see you're both carrying flags here. Truce. You got the peace flag. And they might have the surrendering flag. I come in peace. Your dreams are being fulfilled, and so is this person's. This is a committed, romantic relationship being swept off your feet. Your hearts are fluttering, and so is theirs. They are visualizing and they are focused on what they want. All they need is to create a space where they can search for themselves. What do they truly want? Do they want to people please their family all the time? Working all these excess hours, burying their nose in work? to actually support other people who think that they should be supported by or do they want to follow their heart and their harmonious life? It's looking like they're going to follow their harmonious life. heart is your compass. Follow your heart. Somebody needed to hear that today. Take care Capricorn.